Hey Haley, it's Friday. But today, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done all week. Leave the apartment. I know. Shocking, right? I'm gonna go see if Leanne or Josie or Radika wants to go to prove to you that I do have friends, that I don't just live in this apartment by myself. And we're gonna go have lunch and maybe shop around a little bit. We'll see. But here we go, going outside. Woo. I don't want to go. Can you be my friend and go hang out with me downtown. Yeah. Yay, friendship. It's so bright out here. I want to go back inside. All right, so we made it downtown. I'm here with Leanne. Hey. We're just gonna walk around and see what we can find in mysterious downtown Greenville. <laughs> right now, we are in this really cool hippie store. Apparently, they have objects in which you can do witchcraft with. They got dragon's blood. Oh my god. And they have hoodoo. Where am I? What is that? Don't touch that. That might be like a sacred scroll and you're gonna get cursed <laughs> for life. Probably. Witchcraft. What are, stuff. what are these? What is that? Is it like a wand? Handcraft wand. Oh my god. Wingardium Leviosa. I wonder how many people have done that before, Leanne. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. This is where they do their sorcery. They all come back here. And they do seances and they summon the spirits. Oh my god. Leanne, how does this painting make you feel? It makes me feel like she can't have anything she wants. She wants all of those things, but she just can't have them. That's how I feel. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I think we need to get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so me and Leanne have decided that we're going to start a covenant. And you're invited, all of you. We got Sage. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> we know what, we need to get a book. We need to get a book on how to start one. Let's start with this one. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. I feel like that's the book from Hocus Pocus. Don't light the virgin candle. That means you, Haley. Alright, so we just left the witch store. I got some money. We bought things. <laughs> We're going to start a coven. We're going to put a spell on you, and now you're ours. Watch out. That's right, you better watch out. We got, we got straight voodoo magic now. <laughs> we have oh no what? <laughs> oh my <laughs> Jesus. It's I don't like know if lady. you can see that. It's like old lady flashback heaven. Where it's they can like, look at what they wore to prom all over again. Yes, it's like if prom and Sunday church threw up on the store, this is what it is. This is where your 80-year-old grandma would take you if she took you prom dress shopping. And she'd probably pick out a your You're, you're blind, 80-year-old grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we made it back. And sorry I had to like whisper in the witch shop. I didn't want that lady to like put a curse on me or something. So to answer your question that you failed to put in your video yesterday, I would probably be Asian. Yep, I would be Asian. And your question of the day is if you could put a curse or a potion or a spell or whatever on somebody, what would it be and why? I would probably put a silence spell on somebody because I like people to shut up. 
because they stupid sometimes. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.